Hi, welcome back to the Unleash the Dragon Within Talks. First talk we talked about uh, intelligence and Bruce's uh, different ways of using his mind and body for intelligence purposes. And in the second talk we discussed confidence. Today our topic is excellence. What is excellence? It's a word. Now I'm not trying to be flip, it, that's what it is, it's a word, okay, and of course it has many, many different meanings to different people. So the first thing to realise is that what you think excellence is and what I think excellence is and what Bruce thought excellence was are going to be different, okay, so that's the first thing to bear in mind about a word like excellence, many different meanings to everybody, okay. But what I'm going to propose is to look at the structure that Bruce Lee used and he applied that allowed him to be so skilled, so incredibly adept at what he did in the martial arts field and then went on to do in the, in the film world. So, excellence begins by a mixture of these two here, which is a skill set and a mindset. Okay? We all have a skill set and we all have a mindset. They're linked. Uh, we have to write them separately, but they function together. They align within us as a human being. So it's a matter of having the right skill set and the right mindset as the base in order to move forward into being excellent at something. Clearly, it's not possible to be excellent if you haven't got the skills. So there is always going to be some degree of having to learn and apply skills and abilities. And then there's the mindset that goes with that. Now one of the key things that Bruce had in abundance was an ability to learn something through mimicry. He had a very profound way of being able to take on board a skill, a physical skill, simply through watching and then applying it. Now, this is a skill that we all have because as children, this is how we learned. We learned by watching others. So it's within all of us, but we tend to lose it. So I'm going to recommend that one of the ways you can begin to access this part of your neurology is to practice mimicry. To actually take on the mannerisms of other people. To take on their voice. And to do an impression of them. Because that begins to open up the neural pathways to a part of the brain which we call the mirror neurons. And mirror neurons in a human being actually do this, they mirror. So if we see somebody going through a certain emotion, the mirror neurons will capture that inside us and we begin to experience it, okay? So um, it's, a, it's an important quality that I think a lot of us lose as we grow older. We stop copying, we stop imitating. Because some people think, well, I'm not being myself. Well, you are. It is yourself. And one of the ways I've learned throughout the years is, is by tapping into this very powerful mindset of just mimicking, of just copying, taking things on. So that's an important part of the mind and the skill set. Okay? Now, excellence needs a name. You can't be randomly excellent. You need to know what you want. What do you want to be excellent at? Now, I'm going to base this talk around Bruce Lee, so we're going to base it around the martial arts. So, that would be the basis of um, the excellence in uh, what we're talking about, but you may have your own excellence. Maybe you want to be excellent at playing the guitar. Maybe you want to be excellent at uh, origami. Maybe you want to be excellent at making cakes. So, have a name. Uh, but the key thing is, how will you know? So, how are you going to know that you're moving towards excellence? Okay, what feedback? How are you going to measure 
what's going on in you that tells you you're moving towards. Okay, if you take the martial arts, how are you going to measure your skills? And obviously we've got punches, we've got kicks. Maybe you need to film yourself. Maybe you need to film yourself and then a month later you film again and see, see how you're punching, see is it getting better. Because if you're in a class, you've got the feedback of your teacher. But you need to have some way of knowing that you're making progress. Okay, And it needs to be clearly as objective as possible. Because the ego will like to think maybe that you're doing well when the truth is you're not. So that sort of dropping away the ego again is very important and being able to be objective about you and how you're doing. Okay? Now, this is to me the key of Bruce Lee's excellence. Very, very big. Simplicity. Very big. Bruce honed everything down. Bruce was all about hacking away the unessential bits. So in his martial art, it's very, very practical. We look at tools that really work. Okay, it's very simple. It's bang. It's, it's, if someone throws a punch, then I don't do technique one, two, three, four. Someone throws a punch, I intercept. Hence it was called the way of the intercepting fist. So it's simple. Simple. End the fight. Quick as possible. Least uh, complication you can. So keep it as simple as you can for excellence. Hack away anything that you don't need. And of course that is going to be different to you than to me. I'm five foot six. In Game of Death Bruce fought a big guy called Kareem Abdul-Jabbar seven foot two. So it, it's going to be different for everybody what they hack away for your own style. I'm very inflexible in the legs. Kicking to me is not part of my JKD. I use fists or elbows or head strikes. Forget the legs. Simple. Then of course effectiveness. Big for Bruce. Is it effective? He was always seeking the most effective way to work. The most effective way to use the martial arts. What, what gets the job done? What gets the job done quickly and well? Effectiveness. So it's got to be simple. It's got to be effective. And then Bruce was always in this loop here. He was always learning and feedback. Learning and feedback. Always. He was learning from everybody. All the time. Those around him. Constantly learning and constantly getting feedback. And this is key to moving into that area of excellence, that you're constantly learning, constantly testing and applying. Because it's one thing, for instance, to learn the martial arts in a hall uh, and self-defense. It's completely different when you're out there in the real world. And that's something to always bear in mind, that the uh, context of something is gonna change the way you feel about it. So it's very important to make sure that your learnings run deeper than just the context you're in, okay? And I've seen that in, in, in numerous martial arts trainings that people are very, very proficient in the hall and they can do the moves, but when it comes to the real world application, it all falls apart because if you're in a back alleyway and someone comes at you with a knife, that's completely different to doing training, completely. Your hormonal system will go into a completely different mode. And that's where a lot of mental work is very important, that actually to, to work on the mind, to work on replaying scenarios in your head, even if you can't do them for fully real, you can make them as real as possible. And remember lastly, excellence is a journey. It's not a, dest it's not a place you reach ever. Bruce was always saying to everybody that worked with him, it's all a journey. It's all about a process that we keep moving towards excellence. Never stop and think, that's it, I'm done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye now.